If you want a microphone stand for your desk, but you don't have that much space, well this might be an option. Today I'm going to show you how to make a little mount for your microphone stand. Pretty much. First, we need a cheapy stand to butcher. I've got this one. And if we have a look at the bottom, the end of it has this bell curve which stops the stand bit from falling off. And so the next thing to do is to saw it off. Here we go. You might need to deburr that. And it comes off nicely. Alright, the next thing to do is to measure the diameter using a pair of verniers or something similar. And use that size to drill a hole onto a piece of wood. What I have here is a 20mm force in a bit and I'm drilling onto just a C16 section of pine. And for a straight right angled edge, it's best to use a miter saw. We're just trimming that edge. And while we're at it, let's cut the whole piece down to size. That way, we could do the next step, which is to drill two holes on the end of our piece. Now as for size, the drill bits should be smaller than the screws that you're using, so please make sure that you've got the right set of screws and drills for that. The next step is to cut through the middle of the 20mm hole. And this is what it looks like. Ta-da! Alright, let's clean up the holes on one side of our clamp and countersink the holes of the other so that everything sits flush. And assuming the screws screw in nicely, we need to enlarge the holes on the other side of the clamp because we don't want the screws to be screwing into this side of the clamp. And this is how it should look like. Alright, the next step is to drill some mounting holes uh, so that you could use an additional set of screws for you to mount this onto, well, wherever really. And a bit of countersinking should neaten things up. So this is how it's going to work. Uh, we have our mount. It's going to be screwed onto the top of this drawer. And we're going to slide this mount into our... Um, wooden mount I guess and it's gonna be um, held on like so clearing the desk well what you could do though is mount this straight onto the desk but since this isn't my wood it's going to be uh, it's gonna have to be this for me to be able to pull out the drawers while this mount is on it's gonna have to be on this it's gonna have to be mounted on this corner Give yourself some space so let's just set this to almost drill mode. And this seems to be working just fine. Let's try the other one. Tighten it up a bit. And fit this rod through. Make sure that you uh, screw these in evenly. You don't want um, one side or the other to be taking up most of the uh, strain, I guess. I don't know. And... Yay! Actually looks really cute. This is the budding engineer. Yeah, so it works. I'm pretty happy about it. I mean, it's incredibly crude, but you know, it'll do. And that's pretty much it. A simple piece of wood 
so that you could use a microphone stand to use a microphone for streaming or something. So yeah, um, <laughs> that's, that's about it really. Um, this is the budding engineer. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon. Hi there. Um, I feel like I have some issues to resolve. Because since starting this channel, I vowed myself that if I did end up making misinformation, that I need to um, retract it and resolve it formally. Now, if you've been following my channel closely, which is, what, 40 of you at most, I did a review of this Bluetooth amplifier chip called the DWCT14+, Plus, thinking it was a mono amplifier. Uh, whereas it turns out, it wasn't. I was searching for mono Bluetooth amplifiers back in 2017, and I ran into this chip. I mean, literally, from YouTube videos to eBay listings, it had the word mono written all over it, and I don't know what changed. Maybe it was how the chip itself was manufactured, or people found out that it was stereo all along, and it was a bit of a marketing, um, well, misinformation, really. Right up until I had the curiosity of testing it with one of my built uh, Bluetooth speakers, which was just a single speaker, and it used this chip. And I did a polarity test, um, not polarity test, it was a, um, it's a channel test, like, you know, to test the left and the right channels, and it only outputted the right channel and not the left. And boy, was I so shocked. And because of that, I had to retract the video and just do a really short verdict on that particular chip. I don't recommend it. It's slow, as in by it's very, very slow to connect. And you might like the startup sound and stuff like that, but it just doesn't connect as quickly as the other um, Bluetooth chips that I've tested, especially that Sanwu one. The reason why I recommended the DWCT14 Plus is because it had that mono output capability, but since that it doesn't, then it pretty much competes directly with that Sanwu chip and it fails. I mean, the Sanwu chip just connects so flawlessly and it just works. So I don't recommend it. Uh, if you want, you know, a simple stereo amplifier, just get the Sanwu chip. Just, you know, make make this whole thing a bit easy for you. But do bear in mind that you need to buy um, JSD connectors separately because they're not included, I think. But anyways, that's what YouTube comments are for. Um, you know, I have to swallow a bit of my pride to, you know, speak about this, you know, but it is something that holds dear to me. And if, um, anybody bought this thinking that it was stereo, thanks to my video or any other video or any other pieces of information on the internet, I am sorry. But as a YouTube channel, this is, you know, pretty much a stepping stone, really. Yeah, so this won't be the last time that I'll be making mistakes. And pretty much the sooner that I do this, um the sooner that I can resolve things so that the information I provide in this channel is the most correct to the best of my abilities. But if you're stuck around, you know, thanks so much for listening. Hope that these, you know, videos do help you out. And if there's any bit of information that I got wrong, uh, do say it out in the comments. I, I do read them and um, I'll be able to sort that out as soon as I can. Now, as for the direction of this channel, it's going to be shifting slightly towards the software and the digital side of things, and away from the woodworking and the machining side of things for the time being, as you might have picked up from the microphone stand video. Because when I think of the phrase, the budding engineer, I don't think of it as something that is exclusive to those who have um, what, a master collection of machines, or they have their own um, workshop or workspace. Uh, I think of it as a lifestyle, as a philosophy, where you look at the things around you and you think to yourself, how can I fine tune this so that it works for me more efficiently, so that I'm able to do the tasks um, more quickly and more easily. Case in point, the technology that you have, i.e. your computers, your phones, and all that stuff. For me, it's just like a whole network of puzzles that I just happen to love solving. And considering that, you know, you're listening to me about this right now, it might be something that 
you like doing too. So that's where I'm turning the channel towards. I'm turning it towards um, what I've learned over the years with um, using my computer and my phone for just doing things, i.e. power using and, you know, as well as sharing, you know, my opinions here and there. But of course, the machining and the woodworking side is obviously not going to go away. It's also something that I deeply enjoy. I'm, I'm basically making this channel a bit more varied than just exclusively um, electronics and making um, wooden stuff. So, um, so that's where the channel is heading. I hope that, you know, you stay tuned for it. And yeah, I think that's um, all I've got to say. Yeah. Again, you know, thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. And yeah, I hope to see you soon.